Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss what is accounting and we're going to be discussing the users of accounting information. Now this topic is covered in introductory financial accounting course which I do have a complete course about what is accounting but to start your course you have to understand the basic concept what is accounting how do you define accounting and who are the users who uses accounting information having this basic knowledge will make it easier for you later on to understand why we book certain transaction how do we book certain transaction what is the value of the financial statements but before we start i would like to remind you that if you are an accounting student or a cpa candidate but especially if you are an accounting student I do have courses in accounting such as financial accounting, managerial accounting, all sorts of accounting on my website, farhatlectures.com. In addition to the lectures, I do have multiple choice through false exercises that's going to help you reinforce the concepts for you. Now, if you are studying for your CPA exam, I do have plenty of resources that's aligned with your CPA review course. What I can do is I can be a useful addition to your either CPA review course or to your accounting courses. So I strongly suggest you check out my website, farhatlectures.com. If you have not connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so, especially if you are an accounting student. I do post, in addition to my lectures, other news, jobs, events about accounting. Like this recording, share it with your classmates, share it with others. If it benefits you, it's going to benefit others. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook, and let's go ahead and get started. So what is accounting? Accounting basically consists of three basic activities. One, one is identifies, record, and communicate economic, or we call them financial information, financial in nature, of an organization to interested users. Now, we're also going to be looking at the users. Who are those users? Someone is interested in this information. So let's see what this three basic activities entails, just to give an example, so this way you understand what it means. Let's assume this company here, Chip City, purchase a computer from Dell. Is this an economic event or a financial transaction? And the answer is yes. What is a transaction? A transaction is an exchange between two parties. Sometimes those parties could be internal in the company itself, or sometimes it could be external, just like in this situation, Chip City bought a computer from Dell. So that's an external, external transaction, if you want to classify it as an external transaction. So this is a transaction. So as accountant, we need to identify. What is identify? Figure out what's going on. Figure out what's going on. So we, we find out that we are purchasing a computer or we purchase a computer. The next thing we need to do as accountant, we need to record. And what is record? Simply put, put it down, write it down somewhere in a system. Record the transaction, basically record it, put it down. Now we're gonna learn how to properly, how to properly record the transaction. There are a system called debits and credits, which we'll learn about later how to record the transaction. Then we're gonna classify Classify. We're going to classify the transaction. What type of transaction is it? We're going to classify it. Then we're going to put all the transactions together, similar transactions together. For example, we're going to put all the sales together. We're going to put all the purchases together. We're going to classify them, summarize them. Okay? Because we're going to have many transactions. So we want, we, we want it to make sense. We're going to record, classify, and summarize. And at the end of the process, the most important thing is to communicate, to communicate this information, to communicate what happened, how many, per, uh, what was our sales, what was our purchases, what was our profit, okay? To communicate the information by preparing accounting reports. And you're gonna see later, we're gonna be preparing financial statements. The reports are called, the technical word is financial statements. We're gonna be preparing financial statements. And to be more specific, we're going to prepare something called the income statement, which we'll learn about later or shortly. Not in this recording, but in future recording, we're going to prepare something called the balance sheet. And we're going to prepare a statement of retained earning. And we're going to learn about all of those later. So the information that we obtain will have to be communicated via financial statement. Then we're going to send this information to users 
Here are the users who's gonna, who, who are going to analyze and interpret this information. And what is the purpose of all of this? The purpose of accounting is to give the users, we're going to see who the users are, information to help them make a better decision about the company. So that's the purpose of accounting. It's to, to give the users good information to make a good business decision. That's basically what it is. Okay, we have a term called bookkeeping. What is bookkeeping? Bookkeeping is the process of, of recording the transaction. Okay, the accounting process includes bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is basically recording the transaction. Now, how are we how are we gonna record the transaction? You're gonna see we would record the transaction in a chronological order, it means by date, and we would learn properly how to do so later on. But this is the act of accounting and the purpose of accounting. Now we talked about users. I kept saying we communicate information to users. We're going to have two types of users. We're going to have ex internal users and we're going to have obviously external users. And guess what? Internal and external deals with if they are external to the company or internal to the company. So who would be internal to the company? For example, the marketing department would be internal to the company. So those are, we provide them with, with information that's going to help them make a better decision. For example, what price should Apple charge for the iPod to maximize the company's net income? So the marketing people, they want to know, they want data, financial information to determine if they can charge $30, $50, or $100 for the iPod. Okay? For example, management... For example, which PepsiCo product line is the most profitable? Management is interested in knowing, give me accounting information that's going to tell me, is it the soda, the beverages, or is it the snack chips that's more profitable? And within the soda beverages, you have many lines, tell me which one is the best. Finance people, people in finance, is the cash sufficient to pay dividend to Microsoft stockholders? Do we have enough cash to pay the shareholders? The finance, the, the treasurer is interested in that. That's also internal information. HR human resources can GM afford to give employee a pay raise okay so they're interested in accounting information so the information that we provide to the internal users are considered uh, uh, those are considered internal users so they use the information for internal decisions now we also have external users now anyone outside the company is external to the company and you could have all sorts of users outside the company but as far as we're concerned, we're interested in two different users, external users, and those are investors and creditors. Those are the most important two users. One is investors and two are creditors. Now we need to define what they are and why are they important. Investors, they are also called shareholders. They could be called stockholders. Okay, who are the investors? Investors are the people that contribute, the individuals that contribute money to the company. So they give money to the company for the company to, to operate. Yes, why would they give money to the company? Because they like the company, they believe in the company. Now what would the company give them in return? The company will give them in return part of the profit. We call this dividend. So the company gives them back dividend. What is dividend? Is when the company makes a profit, then distribute the profit to the shareholders. So investors are very interested in accounting information because they want to know if they should invest in the company, not invest in the company, if they're current investors, should they sell their position and move on. So what they do, they invest their money. Creditors, they serve the same purpose. Creditors also gives you money, okay? But what's the difference between creditors and investors? Creditors, they're also called lenders. And that's all what they are. They lend you money. Investors, oh, I missed one word for investors. They're also called owners. Investors are owners. Lenders, yes, they give you money, but all what they want in return is their money back plus interest. So before they lend you the money, they want to take a look at your financial situation to see how well you are doing. And by knowing how well you are doing, they will determine how much they should charge you an interest rate, what should be the term of the loan, and most importantly, they will decide if, if they should lend you or not lend you money. Because based on your accounting information, they will, they will decide if they should go ahead with that risk or not take that risk because they're not going to get their money back. So will United Airlines be able to pay off its debt as they become due? The lenders, they would look at the financial statements of United Airlines before, before they make that decision. 
Also for investors, it's gonna help them compare different companies. How does Disney compare in size and profitability to Time Warner? So this way they'll decide they should, if they should invest in Disney or they should decide in Time Warner. Now, are these the only external users? Absolutely not. The IRS, the government is an external users. The Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC is an external users. Any citizen is an external users. Suppliers, which is kind of suppliers, are very similar to creditors. Suppliers, people that sell you stuff on account. They're all, they're all, they are all external users. But as far as we're concerned, we target two main groups, investors and creditors. And why do we target those two groups? Because they risk their money. They put their money on the line to finance the company. Therefore, they're most interested in this information. So let's take a look at this exercise, quick exercise, and see if we can answer these questions. Indicate whether the following statement are true or false. The three steps in accounting process are identifying, recording, and communicating. Hopefully you know this is correct. This is the this is a correct statement. Bookkeeping encompasses all steps in the accounting system. It does not. Bookkeeping is part of the accounting system, just the recording part. Accounting prepare, but do not interpret financial reports. Absolutely not. Accountant prepare and can interpret the financial reports. They're the best at interpreting because they're the that they, they are the party that prepared that report, so they know the ins and outs of the numbers. The two most common type of external users are investors and company officers. Investors is correct. Company officers are not. Company officers should be replaced with creditors. Those are the two most common or the two most important, not only common, the two most important. When we prepare information, they're, they, those two groups, investors and creditors, our, is, are our main audience. Audience. Managerial accounting activities focus on the report for internal users. Well, I failed to mention this. Let me go back and mention this. When you prepare information to internal users, the process is called managerial accounting. And there's a whole course that's called managerial accounting. When you prepare information to external users, the process is called financial accounting. And you, you, you must be taken now financial accounting or financial reporting, financial accounting and financial reporting. So let's take a look at this question again, number four, I'm sorry, number five, managerial accounting focuses on the report for internal users and that, that's, an, that's a true statement. So number five is true. So that's basically the first session in this course. If you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me. If, you, if you're taking this class, see me in class, make sure to read the book, complete your homework, complete your quiz. And if you're studying for your CPA exam, study hard, it's worth it.